I use at test annotated methods for simple tools. In this Java for testers case study video, I will show you how I do that. So first, here is a tool. This is an MVP, a minimum viable product. Now it looks just like a normal Java at test method, which it is, but I'm using it as a tool. Now the basic uh, functionality of this tool is I want to take a lean pub project, which is a set of markdown files where the order is controlled in a book.txt file. And I want to output a single markdown file that I can run through pandoc to create a PDF locally. doesn't matter if you don't understand that, that's fine. The, the point here is I'm writing a, a set of code as an at test method that I'm going to use as a tool. Now markdown is a very simple text based format which can be converted to HTML or PDF or some other formatting easily. This is a, a markdown file. And here you can see it converted as a, an HTML view in IntelliJ. What I want to do is go further and take a whole set of files that are a basic book and run them through Pandoc, which is a, a local tool for creating PDFs from markdown. So this is my tool. I know it's a tool because I can right click on it and I can run it and it will do something. So the IDE is my GUI. The variables are my input fields. I have some simple error handling. So I've run this without typing in an error and without typing in a file, and it's given me an exception. That's what I want to happen. I can run it with an actual input file by changing the variable. Here's my book.txt. So I'm going to add that in to the input field. Then I'm going to run the tool again. Now it's actually processed it. And what it's done is it's created a new folder with my combined markdown. And because it's an MVP, I still have some manual work. So I'm just going to copy and paste this, get command line up, paste that in, Pandoc's running, and convert it into a PDF for me. So now I've got my markdown file, which is a combined from all the different markdown files in my lean pub document. I've got a PDF, which is all the files combined together, a basic tool to help me with my workflow, because I don't always want to use the lean pub preview functionality. Now I haven't made this particularly robust. But if I want to, I can run it in debug mode. Then I've got more control over how my tool works. This is an MVP. This is the first step towards a tool or solving a problem. If I use this code enough, then I will refactor it. Then I will create a set of classes that support this. And I might even go to the point of creating a command line interface. And I might even create a GUI on top if I start using it in more detail. But this gives me enough flexibility and it's easy enough for me to use and easy enough for give someone else to use if I show them how to do it and set them up in the IDE that it can operate as an MVP tool just from an at test method. Now I use this approach a lot. I tend to use Java rather than a lot of scripting languages because I'm much more familiar with it. So if you want to knock up a quick tool and have some basic programming language, then don't think you have to write a full GUI or a command line interface. You could just write an at test annotated method and run it from a GUI. The code for this is on GitHub and Evil Tester in the Pandocifier project. You can read more about this on my Java blog at blog.javafortesters.com. And if you want to learn Java using at test methods to help support you with your testing, then I wrote the book Java for Testers.